Hey YouTube, this is Alexander here and I'm back with another tech video. In this video I'll just be doing a quick installation and uh, some overview of the new um, 4.2 Raspbian Jelly ROM that's available for download and installation on your Nexus S and Nexus S 4G. The Nexus S I have here is the Nexus S GSM variant. Um, so before you want to get started, uh, by the way, download links will all be in the description. Um, if we need the G apps, we'll all go ahead and leave those down in the description. Be aware that this may have uh, a lot of bugs and may not be stable for everyday use. You want to first go ahead and go into Realm Manager and uh, just make sure you have your Nexus S backed up. So you just open up Realm Manager and go to your backup ROM and it'll do its thing. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and backed up your Nexus S, you're then going to want to go ahead and just hit uh, or open ROM Manager again and go to boot, Reboot into Recovery. Now this will reboot into Recovery and uh, you can install the ROM from here. Um, just a quick point, uh, if you're not using ROM Manager, I believe the other one, uh, another famous one is uh, Twerp, I think it's called, uh, TWRP. Um, so you can go ahead and use that as well. Um, so what you're going to want to do is do a uh, wipe, factory, uh, wipe Data Factory Reset and it'll go ahead and delete all your data and everything. Okay, so it's completed. Then we go into, uh, whoops, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD, and if you downloaded it straight uh, from the website, uh, from your Nexus S, you just go ahead and scroll up and it'll be in the download section. There we go. and you hit and download and it should say Raz Carlo Crespo OTA 2012-1203 that should be the one that you wanna install so you're gonna hit yes and yes okay so it says install from SD card is complete now, as I mentioned, or might have mentioned, I don't know what works in this ROM, so instead of installing gapps, the ROM uh, says that it doesn't require gapps, but uh, it might, so if it does, we'll find out, and I'll go ahead and leave those down in the description. Okay, so here we are at the setup menu after the installation. Uh, mind you, the first inst uh, first re uh, boot, <laughs> sorry, the first boot will be the longest, or it should be the longest, um, so we'll go ahead and hit English uh, in the United States, since that's where I am. Uh, it's asking me to select my Wi-Fi one second. Okay, so after you go ahead and connect, it'll display a little progress bar that says this phone is connecting to Wi-Fi. Got Google. Um, I do, but I'm not going to sign in right now. Not now. Uh, sure. And I'm just going to put in my name. Um, get that to focus. I agree, set of complete and finish. So here is a 4.2 on your Nexus S. As you can see, you have quick toggles here. You have a lot of uh, quick toggles here. Um, I'll actually be making a separate video going more in depth with this ROM because there's probably a lot that I, uh, it's just gonna be too long of a video if I try to get it all covered now. So I'll just go ahead and Go into about phone, and as you can see, Nexus S Android version 4.2.1, um, and it's Raspbian Jelly. So we'll go ahead and hit, and we get the nice little animation. I'll go over uh, something briefly, though. I'll go over maybe the lock screen, um, since I know you guys don't really want to wait for a second video. So you, it doesn't look like you get the extra wallpapers that came with the Nexus 4. But we'll go ahead and take that live wallpaper off. Um, We'll go into developer options and take that away. We don't need that. And uh, so the, the apps that it comes with are the stock apps as well as Play Store. So I'm uh, I'm assuming you can go ahead and get your G apps from the Play Store or um, you can just go ahead and manually install those. I'll have a link down in the description if you want those. Um, those G apps should include things like YouTube and uh, any other apps that are missing. You know, I, I can't remember off the top of my head what uh, all the GFs are. But uh, here it's asking me to remember photo location. Go ahead and take a picture. 
So you still have that loud shutter sound. <clears throat> and uh, the picture, of course, the quality is going to be uh, the same, or at least relatively uh, or uh, extremely similar. Um, uh, the video recording, you only have time lapse and store location. You don't get the option of um, of what the resolution is like you did before, whether it be 480 or less. You get flash, and then you can flip the camera. Let's see if the front camera works. Yes, the front camera works. Um, we'll go ahead and check out. Here's panorama. Of course, that works. And it says, yeah, so... Sorry, your device is not yet supported. Uh, model Nexus S Samsung. So, I'm guessing if we go ahead and flash that camera, uh, we should be fine and it should work. But I'll go ahead and uh, make a separate video detailing that, as well as going more in depth with the ROM. So expect a expect a video about that. Um, we'll go ahead and hit the lock screen, and you can see the time is offset to the uh, to the right. I believe it's in the center on the Nexus uh, 4. We go in here and we have our quick, our uh, uh, lock screen widgets. Sorry, we have a lock screen widgets. Uh, sorry, going back. We have the camera right over here. And you can see there's a little bit of lag, so um, you can switch right back over on my Nexus 4. I don't believe that's that's available. If you scroll over, you're, you got to go to the camera. Um, and then you have the new lock screen. Now, Google Now isn't available from from here so uh, not sure if they're gonna implement that in a later build or if that's just how it is and there's no persistent search bar um, because we don't have the Google search uh, app installed uh, Google search Google voice YouTube those are just a couple of uh, G, G apps so, I know this video got kind of long um, if you want to see more go ahead and make sure to subscribe up there uh, hit the like button, share it with your friends if you know anybody who's interested in getting 4.2 on their Nexus S, whether it be GSM or CDMA. I'll have the link down below for those as well as the G apps for uh, for 4.2. Uh, if there's anything specific you want to see, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.